Hey, hey, welcome to another Storytime video. In today's video, I have a serial hex decoder behind me. This is really useful for point to point systems with fists and bolts and stuff. Or just in general, it's quite useful because you can send a lot of information with hex, and serial hex is just insane. But I'll save that for later. So, anyway. Let me show you how this works. So, first of all, I'm just going to explain what the main use for this is. As I mentioned, this is good for point-to-point -point piston bolt systems, because a lot of them use hex to decide where you're going. But also, if you imagine hex, uh, a single bit of hex, as four bits of information, this is like sending um, two bits of binary every single game tick. Um, which is insane. So we just have a simple 3-bit decoder here. But as you can tell by this, it, <laughs> it's relatively small and you can tile it infinitely. Um, you just have to obviously adjust some of the timings and stuff on this line. But yeah. So this is the fastest way to... Well, the fastest simple way to transfer hex. So the way this would work is if you input signal strength 1 here, it would go 15, 14, 13, all the way down to 1 here. And this is obviously a single redstone tick for 15 blocks. But anyway, here we have the encoder. So it's just really simple. And if I was to input something like, yeah, 1, and like 2, and then three, for an example. It will also preserve the order. A lot of hex encoders I've seen will flip the order, but this one doesn't. So you'll see, if I send this, we get three, two, and then there one. And what you'll notice is these are all in sync too. So if I was to send, I don't know, like four, two, three, what you'll notice Oh, hang on. I didn't reset it. But what you'll notice is they all show up at the exact same time. So, it's it's quite cool for that. Now, yes, unfortunately, it has a manual reset. Um, but I did that that way because a lot of people actually prefer to have a s reset line rather than it auto-reset when a signal comes in. Um, there's not really much to explain about this other than just showing it working. Uh, I will give a structure for this, uh, like a structure file, on my Discord server if anyone wants it. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I have for today's video. It's a bit of a short one, I know, but... As I said, there's not much to explain about these. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.